Hi, welcome back to Turk Karate TV. Today we're going to talk about Seizan Kata. Uh, Seizan, or Seishan, or as in Shotokan uh, calls it, Hangetsu. Seizan means the number 13, and it's a kata that uh, exists across all the different ruhas of Okinawan Karate. It exists in three variants, in the Nahate tradition, the Shurite tradition, and the Tomarite tradition. Now the Nahate tradition, uh, which is the youngest tradition in Okinawan Karate, can be represented by Gojuru, Uechiru, Rueru, and Kojuru. Those are examples of the Nahate systems of Okinawa. And they all, uh, to my understanding, except Kojuru, because I don't have much of an understanding of that system. It's a very closed system. The family has not let that system out into the public. But the other systems, I do know, they all have a Seizan Kata. We don't know uh, really what the number 13 means in Seizan, but uh, my research uh, shows that it is associated with 13 wazas inside the standard Tomarite version of the kata, with 13 individual bunkais, actually 12. The 13th bunkai is the bunkai of the yoi, the opening of the kata itself. Now other people are going to say, no, I don't know that, I don't know this, that. that's fine. We are interested in what I've found that I want to share with you. And this is something that I have found. Um, let's look a little bit at how uh, the kata has progressed through the years. Uh, the kata was originally designed by Bushi Matsumura. This is the oral tradition. However, once Bushi Matsumura started teaching his students, the students themselves started changing the kata. That's typical of a lot of Okinawan masters and their students. Uh, but the interesting thing is that Bushi Matsumura taught Anko Itosu. We know that. Anko Itosu, the founder of modern Shorin Ru, the precursor of most Japanese karate that's not Nahate based. And yet inside Itosu's Ruha, this kata does not exist. It exists in the Ruhas that came from all his other students. Yet inside Itosu, there is no Seizan whatsoever. Now, this is interesting because Funakoshi Sensei of Shotokan Ru learned this kata, called it Seizan, later changed its name to Hangetsu, but he taught it. It's still part of the Shotokan system. And in his 1924 or maybe 1926 book, you actually see the posture that he does with what's known as the single leaf of grass from China. This way and then turning, uh, which is part of the kata. And uh, he does uh, include it in his uh, Makuroku, in his list of katas that belong to the Shotokan Ru. Uh, I believe that the reason that that's included is not because of Bushi Matsumura uh, and Itosu. I think the reason why um, Funakoshi Sensei includes that kata in his list of katas for his style is because he spent many years teaching as a teacher in a school in Tomari. And if you look at the kata that Tangetsu does, uh, where the movements are coming and you see these techniques, this is indigenous to Seiza. And it's part of a series of wazas that are similar across all the styles. Uh, it's a kata that you don't see much anymore being done within the Shotokan tradition, but you do see it in the Wadoru tradition because Otsuka Sensei was a student of Funakoshi Sensei, and he carries the kata into the Wadoru, calling it Seishan. Uh, and again, it, it follows this particular Tomari version of the kata. Now, in, in my research, I found two Tomari versions, two Tomari Te versions of the kata. One I call the Matsumura version, 
the other the Oyodomari version. Now, the Oyodomari version is a very powerful based kata. Everything in that kata is based on power and explosiveness. The uh, Matsumura Seizan kata, which is Matsumura from Tomari, is a kata that we see uh, fast and uh, quick and energetic techniques in. This is the Kian or Chutoku Kian version of the kata. This is the most popular. Um, all of these katas have similar wazas. All of them are following almost the same identical Anguzen. It's within the Kihon and the interpretations of the Bunkai that all the masters bring into the karate that this changes. Uh, but Seizan uh, is what we would call uh, a common kata. It's a kata that exists across all styles. And interestingly enough, one of the things my teacher taught me when I first started learning uh, Seito Matsumura Shoren Muru uh, was that he said, in, in the old days, this is the first kata that was taught to a student that is trusted. I was lucky enough to have that be the first kata that I learned from my teacher. And I also know uh, from talking to people in different Tomarite lineages that this is what Kian Sensei taught as, as probably his first kata. And I have had friends who have studied with Eizo Shimabukuru as well as with Tatsuo Shimabukuru and they maintain the same tradition of Kian, of, 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 of this having been originally one of the first katas taught to students that are trusted. Uh, of course, later on you see the pinyans coming in for regular students. But it's a very interesting kata. It has incredible bunkai. It has aesthetic movements in it, speed and power movements in it. It works directions, every direction. Uh, and it's, uh, uh, for me, an extremely interesting form associated with the traditions of Okinawan karate. It has incredible amounts of kyusho or nerve strikes in it. It has an incredible amount of uh, joint lock techniques and combinations of kicking, chasing an opponent and coming back, bringing the opponent back and attacking again. Uh, so the, the kata itself is built to develop a person who wants to be able to fight and win against larger opponents. I've always enjoyed the kata and um, I, I think that you should look into it and uh, see if your teacher knows it because it's well worth having as part of your repertoire. Don't worry, got the